In this video, I'll show you how to stop mid-range frequency resonance sounds that you may hear in a mechanism by applying the anti-resonance filter in Sigma Win Plus. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. This rotary drive mechanism consists of a large wheel secured to a shaft with a servo coupling to the Sigma 7 motor. I'm connected to the Sigma 7 amplifier with Sigma Win Plus, and I'll be commanding the move through program jog, although the command could instead originate from the controller. Right now I'm using the default tuningless mode, but even with the response level at minimum, there's still a strong resonance noise. A trace of this noise. I'll measure the frequency by zooming in here at the torque signal and use the cursor to measure the frequency as around 363 Hertz. This would also be a good opportunity to run mechanical analysis. I'll just close everything here and open mechanical analysis under diagnostic. Heed the warnings. And we'll just start with the default here at 15% excitation amplitude. Servo on, move forward, servo on again, reverse. This graph is reporting a very strong gain right here at, it's showing up as 344 hertz. To fix this, you could try notch filter, but this is the ideal frequency range for anti-resonance. Anti-resonance is not available in tuningless mode. So let's go into the tuning menu, heed the warnings, and turn that tuningless off, okay? And cycle power. We're back up after cycle power like it's said to do. And back into tuning. You might try to find the moment of inertia ratio and then execute auto-tuning, but I want to take care of this noise in the anti-resonance screen, which is under advanced adjustment. You don't generally use this button until the inertia ratio is found. I'm going to just go ahead and go to custom tuning. It's advanced adjustment, custom tuning, just skipping ahead for now. Next, because I want to get to this anti-res control adjust window. You basically follow this flow chart here. It first is to find the frequency. And we could use manual set and put in the 344, however you measured it. Or you could use auto detect with the servo on. I'll pull up the program jog again for that. So we'll go to auto detect, servo on. And it's detected 340 hertz. Now start adjustment and these values become active, but there will be no anti-resonance control unless you give it some damping gain. It goes from zero to 300. Let's try 100, turn the servo on. Still got a little bit of noise, so I'll try 200, and even uh, 300 might work. Let's just go down a little bit here to 250. There will typically be a whole range of values that will work. So let's see if this works with execute. And it sounds like the move is quiet. It's great. The mechanism is running smoothly, so finish and complete. Back in the trace, let's see what this move looks like. The torque signal trace looks clean, although there is some instability here because I've not yet set the inertia ratio. Now, I happen to know that for this mechanism, the inertia ratio is around 10 to 1. So I'll just set PM103 to 1000, meaning 10 to 1. Write that in there. Then back to trace. I think we'll see a better result. That's a stable result. You also see here at the bottom of the gain parameters, that use anti-resonance control has been turned on. There's the anti-resonance frequency and the damping gain that we set. You could also set those parameters here without using that interface window that we used. 
Now a couple other tips. Uh, you might want to turn off PN160 digit 1 to prevent auto-tuning and custom tuning from changing the settings you have here for anti-residence. Additionally, if you increase the system gain, such as by setting the inertia ratio or using custom tuning, you may also need to go back and increase the damping gain and possibly adjust the frequency. And for particularly difficult systems, you may also use PN166 damping gain too. Thank you for watching this video. Please note that the product manual contains a detailed section on tuning and additionally, Yaskawa offers free hands-on self-guided video training covering the basics of Sigma Win Plus software and servo tuning at www.yaskawa.com slash self-guided. We also offer a live tuning lab where you can come in and tune a mechanism like this for yourself along with the guidance of an instructor. For more information, please go to yaskawa.com.